Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's been a rather long absence, to put it mildly, but I've returned with a new video presentation on the feathered dinosaur. The creature in question today is Anzu, meaning mythical demon in ancient Sumerian and Arcadian mythology. Anzu was often depicted as either a great bird or griffin-like creature, as you can see on the image on the front of you, with Anzu also being a servant to the sky god known as Enli. Though, when Anzu decided to learn about the future of all things, he stole the Tablets of Destiny. Anzu was unfortunately killed when the Tablets were eventually recovered, but by whom depends on what version of the story you read upon. It was actually estimated that Anzu, or this gigantic feathered demon, could reach a size of up to 1.5 metres high at the hips, and have a predicted weight of roughly 200 to 300 kilograms and was the largest North American oviraptorsaur, although the Mongolian genus Gigantoraptor was larger. The first specimens of Anzu were being found in 1998, and over time enough fossil fragments were discovered to determine Anzu was an oviraptid dinosaur. The genus Anzu was a genus of large oviraptorian dinosaurs from the late Cretaceous period, with the type species being known as Anzu wyelii. Got a delightful little image here of two Anzus, uh, either male, two, either two males uh, competing against each other. We've got a man and female engaging in some form of courtship behaviour, although you know, it's very hard to determine from a one uh, very nicely drawn picture. But it's highly likely that in fact Anzu was either a herbivore or omnivore in terms of its diet, although the actual beak of the dinosaur has not been as heavily constructed as other Asian oviraptid dinosaurs. The fossils of Anzu were found within mudstone rock that previously might have been part of an ancient floodplain. This indicates that the Anzu would have been of a different lifestyle to its Asian oviraptid counterparts that reside in either arid or semi-arid environments. So really, uh, Anzu lived in quite a lush, most may possibly a tropical environment in comparison to its Asian counterparts. It's also hinted that Anzu could devour a variety of different food items such as vegetation, small animals and possibly eggs, which would make it a highly generalised animal within its ecosystem. This is probably one of my favourite, actually, uh, drawings of the presentation that I've used from different sources, but I really, really like this one. But moving on, Anzu possessed a number of features similar to birds, yet it was not an avian dinosaur. Its bird-like features are a result of convergent evolution, with Anzu representing both avian and reptilian traits in terms of its morphology. The possible explanation for Anzu's flamboyant head crest is for display purposes such as courtship behaviour and mating behaviour. Just want to say thank you for watching everyone ladies and gentlemen. It's only a very uh, short video and it's a very very hot afternoon at the moment here in the UK and that is making my work absolutely horrendous. I want to say thank you for again once again thank you everyone for watching. I do plan on releasing more videos once again in the near future. It's just frustrating with a very limited internet. But overall, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to bring more content to it all once again very, very soon. And goodbye for now.